Welcome to our series of tutorial videos for the Avalon signage and messaging system. In this series, we're going to discuss the basics of how the Avalon system operates and also go over how to create and program your messaging content. The Avalon system is made up of two parts. There's the Composer software, which we see here. This is used to design the content, schedule it, and program additional functions that are related to the playback of that content. The other part is the Avalon player system, which is not pictured here. This is often going to be located in an equipment closet or near the display or displays. Once you've created that content, you're going to publish it to the player. Uh, that's the act of transferring everything from the PC here to the player system's own hard drive. From there, that player takes over and sends the audio and video output to the signal distribution equipment or directly to a single display. A little terminology for those of you that may be familiar with PowerPoint. Uh, in PowerPoint, you create a presentation that has a series of slides in it. In Composer, we're going to create a project that has a series of pages in it, as well as other types of content as well. So presentation is a project, slide is a page. This is relevant just simply because the buttons that we have in the software are going to reference projects and pages specifically. So it's good to know exactly what those are. Let's get started by creating a new project. We're going to simply click on the New Project button, and we're presented with a dialog that's going to ask us a short series of questions. Most, most of these questions are going to be determined by the type of display or displays that are being used here. So let's give the project an appropriate name. And then we're going to select uh, the type of video connection that we're going to be using, either composite, this also applies to an S-video connection for television broadcast, or the VGA or DVI connector for an LCD or plasma display if we're going for a digital signage application. Uh, if we select composite, you simply click on the finish button and that's it. There are no other settings that have to be configured. Uh, if we select digital signage, which we'll do here, we can then click on the next button and proceed to the next question. So here we need to choose the aspect ratio that we're creating the project at. For digital signage, this is typically going to be 16 by 9, but 4 by 3 is an option as well. So we'll click on Next. And now we have to choose how the displays are hung on the wall, either portrait or landscape. If you do choose portrait, you have an option on whether the displays have been rotated to the left or right when they were hung. So we'll leave this on landscape and click Next once more. And then here we need to select the resolution for the project. Now, larger numbers typically translate to more clarity on screen, so those larger resolutions are usually more desirable. The limiting factor here again is going to be the display itself. So you will need to reference the display's owner's manual and consult the specifications section for the preferred resolution for the connector being used, whether that is VGA or DVI. There will be a preferred or an ideal resolution. So we'll just select the option closest to that from from this list that uh, matches that documented resolution, let's say 1280 by 720, which is a 720p resolution. So we'll simply click on the finish button and the new project is created. We are placed inside it and ready to go. So from here, I would recommend viewing the content types video for details on what you can do to properly utilize the screen space that's just been created.